Howdy friends, Guthrie Trap here coming to you from my house in East Nashville, Tennessee. I know it's been a couple weeks, I uh, gotta get back on schedule here. You know the good news is, is uh, it feels like things are starting to kind of bounce back a little bit with the vaccines. My parents got vaccinated and and, uh, and they needed to because they're up in their early mid 70s and so that's good. Um, hope everybody's doing good out there. Again, thanks for all the amazing comments and support. Uh, I wish I could I had time to respond to every one of these personally. There's some I need to go back uh, and respond to that were just absolutely heartfelt and sincere and, and were just pretty amazing. Uh, I've been getting some really good feedback and uh, just hope to keep this train rolling, man. Um, I got some, uh, some live gigs starting to pop up here and there. Some people are getting out and playing some music in Nashville, which is fantastic. The weather's getting better, which always gives us a, a, an injection of some uh, some um, motivation and energy, and so that's good. A little sunshine. Uh, gotta say, I've done uh, been very thrilled to do, have done some pretty cool stuff over the past week or so, uh, as well as a bunch of traveling and stuff too. Um, but uh, I hit a thousand video exchanges on Artist Works. Uh, did my thousandth one about three days ago. And uh, really thrilled about that. That school is just uh, rocking hard. Those guys are great. And uh, and that continues to grow really, really well. So thanks to all the guys that have signed up for that. Uh, and you can find out all this stuff on my website, GuthrieTrap.com, and the links below. I got to say that. Uh, another cool thing I did was um, I did do an interview with, with uh, one of my biggest guitar heroes of all time, Robin Ford. Uh, that was last, uh, about a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure when it's coming out, but of course I'll let you guys know via all the uh, social media machine. Um, I was thrilled to get a call from him uh, and, and be the first person that he's interviewing for his uh, this new kind of web thing that he's doing. And, and I'll let you know all the details as soon as I find out. Um, of course, that's that'll be on Instagram, Facebook, my website, and all that stuff as well. Uh, Guthrie Trap, super easy to find. Um, the Skype and Zoom lessons are going great. I've got students doing that all over the world. We got a lot of guys will do both, Artist Works and the Skype and Zoom. You get the full video. I show you the fundamentals, uh, uh, you know, and the way I'm looking at the guitar, uh, visually, chord shapes, um, everything inside there, and the spirit of music and what us professionals use to navigate our, ourselves, uh, hopefully, successfully through uh, what's left of the music business. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm kidding. It's great. So, um, you know, uh, I got the the the. I'd also did an interview with the Washington Post yesterday regarding. Uh, uh, all the online guitar education that's kind of popped up, uh, especially in 2020 with people buying more guitars and banjos and ukuleles and mandolins and stuff than ever. Uh, the numbers were through the roof with people just, I guess, wanting to do um, some kind of uh, new hobby or, or something, I guess. So that was really cool. Anyway, um, uh, sorry for all the talking. Just wanted to, to, sh to give you a shout out here. I'm going to do a little playing. This is the new Floyd Telly that I got. I'm digging this thing. There's a couple little tweaks I need to do on it, but I think it's a good sounding guitar. Uh, I need to intonate it a little bit. There's a couple strings that aren't quite perfect, but no extra charge for mistakes, right? What we like to say. Uh, but yeah, good sounding guitar. And then I'll get into a little, a little, a little lesson here. And uh, like I always say, folks, uh, thanks for the support. You can take, uh, check out the tip jug also, Venmo and PayPal if you want to donate something to the cause. And, um, and also I got to, you know, just got to say one more time, please check out the links below to the artist works curriculum, which, you know, all this stuff that I'm teasing you with on YouTube is really meant for you to dig in, uh, deeper with my, um, artist works curriculum, Skype and zoom, uh, masterclass lessons that are an hour long. And, uh, I love Skype and zoom because you get the full video, which you can access for, you know, uh, days, weeks, months, years to come in the future. So, uh, thanks for letting me give you the spiel. Um, thanks for getting me over uh, 40,900 followers, I think I've got now. And so, uh, I just, man, thanks so much. And um, looking forward to, uh, to, to meeting all you guys. I've made some great friends through this online uh, community of guitar players and musicians. And so, uh, really cool stuff. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs>
that I always tell, hey man, I always pay attention to what key you're in. I have no idea what keys I was going in through there. E uh, into the A and D and then some G and then back to E a little bit. Uh, hey, so this is kind of just random improvising here with what I'm saying and what I'm playing here. So thanks for putting up with me. I need to get my YouTube chops back. But um, here's a cool thing I wanted to show you really quick and then I'm going to get out of here. This will be a quick uh, lesson. Um, I'm actually going to sit in with some young guys uh, tonight that are playing. Um, I actually sat in with the, uh, these guys last night. They're really good, and I'm going to sit in with, a, uh, with them again tonight, have a little dinner, uh, maybe a little wine, and then uh, go play a little music, man, trying to get the chops back up, trying to get back to being inspired and, and motivated for, uh, for some live music coming back to Nashville. I'm thrilled about that. So here's the thing. Uh, back A while back, I did like a little... Uh, Hey Joe kind of video, which is a great uh, chord change to work through some of these concepts that I've been uh, talking about. You know, obviously this is like an E7 or kind of an E sharp nine. It, it's not an E minor, but this is one of those songs where over the w one chord, the E, I'm considering that the one chord, you can play major, E major pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, and all kinds of stuff in between, because it is this kind of interesting territory uh, there. And so when I'm playing over that, you know, as you'll see, but the cool part is, is when it goes to the C, G, D, A, back to E. from minor stuff to major stuff, which is kind of, Hendrix did that sometimes. And so this very chordal kind of approach like that. But that's not the part 
I'm talking about as much as what I wanted to show you over going uh, when I go to the C. So this is where the cage system and all this uh, stuff really comes in handy is, is I'm seeing going right to the C chord. <laughs> right to the G. So I'm going up the C uh, pentatonic, but I'm leaving the six out on the way up, but maybe putting it in on the way back. It just gets a little too literal pentatonic when you put that six in there. It starts sounding like an exercise. So I like to go up the chord shape. Then I'm jumping to the major third of G. I'm seeing this chord, this triad, this chord shape. So... I'm using that uh, that D note to take me to the major third. So four to the major third of the G chord. So go C. To my G. Now right to D. A C to G, D to A, so back to E. Right, I could do this arpeggiating through all over the place. Go up to this C here, 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 G, D, A, Back to my E. So uh, what I'm doing is arpeggiating and, and using a couple little major scale notes to segue through that. But if I start here, that's a good example of, of, of weaving through these chord changes. <coughs> Here's another one. Let's see. Excuse me. So that's the idea. Uh, this kind of vibe, you know. Uh, that's simple. That's playing over the chord changes. Now, if you want to get more detailed, of course, you can go through all, you know, tons of, uh, you know, uh, So let's do that again. Uh. Now, that's a lot of stuff, but it, but it really shows you how to weave in and out of those chord changes. So I'm looking at C, my G, D, A, and then back to E.
trying to break this up as much as I can. <laughs> possibilities are, are endless for playing over these changes when you really have a good understanding of the chords and the you know just the cage system is not just knowing your the, the the power of the cage system is not just knowing the shapes everywhere it's what's inside those and being able to pick out the triads and the dyads and the harmonies and really seeing how this and get, getting away from uh hey joe I hope that was Hey Joe. Hey Joe for a minute. Uh, and going like from just your C triad. Okay, let's get out of C. Field. Let's go. Well, let's stay in C because we got our, our ears there. So just going from like our ears there already. So C to F to G to C. So watch real quick and then, and then I'm out of here. stuff there for you guys thanks so much for being a part of this i promise i, I say this every time and it's so easy to get off schedule but uh, i want to do a couple of these a week at least to, to keep you know everybody engaged and and everything moving and all the numbers growing and all that stuff too so again thanks so much guys sorry for all the rambling um if you uh probably you know i've been there's a couple negative comments i got i hate to say this but I'll just delete you and block you and whatever. So, you know, let's keep it positive and upbeat on here, folks. And uh, look forward to seeing you real soon. Stay in touch. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Uh, and we'll see you all real soon. All right, bye.